I'm going to be showing you guys 25 of the best Valorant crosshairs in the game at the moment with every crosshair code being in the description. So when you find one that you like, feel free to copy it and import it into your Valorant settings. First up, we have my personal favorite crosshair and it comes from Genji Texture. He runs the inner lines 1322 in the color white with outlines and outer lines off. This crosshair is really good for being precise and one tapping with the Vandal. Texture is also probably the best player in the world currently, so you should definitely give it a try. Up next is one of 100 Thieves Cryos crosshairs. He has outlines off, center dot off, and his inner lines are 1420 with movement error, firing error, and outer lines off. This creates a nice little plus sign and it feels really smooth in game. And if you're someone who is sick of lagging, you need to check out Exit Lag. It's so easy to set up. Just open the website and create an account and then click the download tab and download the client. After that, open up the client and choose the game that you're playing on. Select auto and click apply routes. And just like that, exit lag will use its algorithm to route you to the best server possible, reducing your lag and high ping in seconds. Exit lag uses its dynamic stabilizer to send these data packets simultaneously through four different routes to ensure faster and safe delivery. You can monitor all of this, including your connection quality through the diagnostic center so you can see a breakdown of all this information and you can even use exit lag to help optimize your PC to boost your FPS and these are only a few of the new features on exit lag. And you can keep up to date with all the updates on exit lag directly through the software using the news hub. And these are just a few of the new features features on exit lag so if you want to try exit lag out for free for the next three days join now from the link in the pinned comment or description now let's get right back to the video Tarek isn't a professional player these days but he has hit radiant number one in the past and was the mvp of a major tournament in csgo nowadays he's usually running a dot crosshair with outlines on outline opacity at one thickness at one center dot on center dot opacity at one and center dot thickness at two this is a really nice dot crosshair it wouldn't be a crosshair video if we didn't talk about the go to valorant tens he uses a 1422 inner lines crosshair with outlines and outer lines off in the color teal tens has some of the best aim in valorant so you should definitely give this one a try up next we have pure x forsaken's crosshair and his is pretty unique this crosshair looks black but the color is set to blue his outlines are 1 1 with the center dot off. His inner lines are 0 1 1 2 and his outer lines are 0 1 1 3. I really like this crosshair for how unique it looks and Forsaken is pretty cracked as well. Moving on, we have a dot crosshair, but this time it's from Zekin who plays for Sentinels. His is pretty similar to Terex, except the outline thickness is set to 2 instead of 1. I personally prefer the thicker outline because I feel like it makes it easier to see at times. Zekin is one of the best mechanical players in the world currently. Alphayer's dot crosshair is almost a polar opposite from Zekins though. He runs a very small dot with slightly less outline on the crosshair. This crosshair is ideal for precision and being a minimalist. Benji Fishy came in second place at Master Shanghai and he has a crosshair that is pretty similar to Cryos but in red. This can definitely help you see your crosshair easier in certain situations. Since Benji plays a lot of Cypher, it probably contrasts well with the cages and helps him to see better. Up next, we have Leaf, a player for G2 who made it to top 3 in the recent Masters. He has an interesting crosser. It's basically a bigger, weirder version of Benji's crosser. He has outlines off with inner lines at 1, the length at 8, then 5, and thickness at 2 and an offset of 1. For outer lines, he's using 1043. Wood is one of the best players in the world currently. If Heretics had won BCT, he likely would have been the MVP. He's running a pretty similar dot to some of the ones we've looked at already at 1112, but he's using it in red. There's something with Team Heretics and using red crosshairs. Les is one of the youngest and best players in the world. Currently playing for Loud, he's accomplished a lot. His crosshair is currently inner lines on at 1210. It's quite small, but that just means it's meant for precision. Next, we have the king of icebox, Asuna. Asuna is one of the most flashy players in the Valorant scene, and he's got a unique crosshair to match it. He has outlines on at 1-1, center dot off inner lines at one two one three and outer lines off i really like this next crosser and it comes from saucy he has outlines off inner lines at one four one one and outer lines at one two three two this one's very unique and it's one of my most used crossers personally up next we have joel's he is a content creator but he's been radiant a number of times he's currently using a yellow crosser with the inner lines at one three one one and he literally made it to immortal only using abilities so give his crosser a try one crosser that locked 
Makia from Gen G uses pretty often is the box crosser. He has outlines off, inner lines at 1152, and outer lines off. And I've seen a few people use it, but I've never been a huge fan of it myself. Jing is known for being one of the best duelist players in the world, and in my opinion, he has one of the best crosshairs to match it. He has outlines on at 1 1, inner lines at 1 2, 1 2, and his outer lines are off. This crosshair feels very clean to use. CNET is very well known for being a mechanically gifted player and his crosshair is pretty similar to Cryo's and Benji Fishy's but slightly bigger. He has outlines off, inner lines at 1520 and outer lines are off. CNED's had some incredible moments so you should try this one out and see if you can live up to it. Up next we have Hiko's crosshair. Hiko is a content creator nowadays but he was once one of the best CSGO players in the world and even a good Valorant professional. He runs outlines off, center dot on at 1-1, one, one, inner lines at 1-2, one, 1-3, one, and outer lines at 1-5, 2-4. This is definitely an old man crosser. Aspas is one of the goats in Valorant, therefore he has a goaded crosser. He's using a inner lines 1322 crosser in the color red. He just set the kill record in this single map for VCT recently, so you should try it out. The next crosser is one of my personal favorites. I've been using this one for a while and I personally like the dark blue color. For this one, turn outlines on 1-1 one, one, and have your inner lines at 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two, with outer lines off. Next, we have one of Valorant's biggest content creators, Avage Jonas, and if you want to be as good of a Sova as Avage Jonas, you might want to try this one out. He's using a small cyan box. For this, you want outlines on at 1-1, one, one, center dot at 1-3, inner lines and outer lines off. Now you too can hit some crazy Sova lineups. Another content creator, Keo, has a crosshair I like as well, with outlines off, inner lines at 1-5, one, 1-2, one, and outer lines at at 1, 2, 3, 4, this crosshair gets thinner the further it goes into the middle and I like that a lot. Dapper is a professional from NA with a crosshair that looks a little bit weird but it plays really nice. With outlines on at 1-1, one, one, inner lines off, and outer lines at 1-2-2-5, two, two, it's a pretty simple crosshair. I'd say this crosshair is ideal for people who use the Phantom a lot. Countizen is another player from Loud but his crosshair is really nice for players who don't want to use a dot or plus sign and want something in between. With a very small offset, it almost looks connected due to the outline. We haven't talked about any meme crosshair yet so i wanted to show you guys my favorite meme crosser it has to be the nerd glasses what's better than making your enemies look like this right before you kill them the next crosser comes from the content creator fishy chair this one is shaped like an x and it's a pretty good alternative if you don't enjoy dot crossers for this one turn off outlines center dot on one two inner lines on at one one six one and outer lines off t1 hasn't had the best vct performances lately but side player is one of the few players who always puts up a good performance regardless of their team results his crosshair has outlines on at 0 0.5-1 center dot off inner lines are on at 1311 and outer lines are off next up we have sabrosa's crosser he tends to change the color of his quite a bit but it usually stays the same he has outlines on at 0.715 and 1 inner lines at 1213 and he has outer lines off i've used this crosshair before and it feels pretty nice in game this one's for the people who like playing initiator and spraying the phantom varian is a content creator who makes a lot of montages and this is a crosshair from one of his videos that i really liked it has outlines and center dot off inner lines on at 1421 with movement error and firing error on and outer lines off. I personally really like the movement and firing error on this crosshair and I think it's an underutilized setting. And I want all of you guys to leave this video with a smile so for the last crosshair I decided to show the smiley face crosshair. This crosshair is silly to play around with and I pull it out once in a while for fun. And if this video helped you out make sure to help me out by dropping a like and subscribing.